A steel ball with mass 40 gram is dropped from a height of 2 meter onto a horizontal steel slab. The ball rebounds to a height of 1.6 meter. Now, calculate the impulse delivered to the ball during impact. Okay, good. First of all, we need to know what's happening here. Uh, we draw a uh, diagrams. Yeah, we can draw a diagram to illustrate what's hap actually happening. Okay, uh, we have a steel ball. Okay, a steel ball there. Yeah, uh, this is our steel ball. Okay, it, it is dropped from a height of, um, you know, uh, drop from a height of uh, okay. This man, this ball is uh, forty gram. Okay, so we change to kilogram. Okay, so to make it SI unit, zero point zero four kilogram. Okay, it is dropped from a height of um, uh, forty meter. Uh, no, no, uh, two meter. Okay, uh, and onto a horizontal steel slab. So this is the the slab. Okay. Okay, it falls. Yeah, it falls. Um, it falls onto the slab and then rebound. Later, then it rebound back to a height, a lower height. Uh, it rebound to a height of. Uh, it rebound to a height of uh, one point six meter. Uh, okay. So we can see there is a loss of uh, energy. Loss of energy uh, for the ball. Okay. Now we need to know what is the impulse delivered to the ball during impact. Okay. So first of all, question A. We need to know the impulse. Ah. Uh, so look at the keyword here. He want the impulse delivered to the ball. Ah. Uh, impulse delivered to the ball. Impulse is J. Okay. Ah. Uh, impulse. Uh, delivered to the ball. Huh? What happening to the ball? So, uh, impulse to the ball means uh, change of momentum of the ball. Uh, change of momentum of the ball. Uh, so, what we do is we take the final momentum minus initial momentum of the ball, uh, or we can say mv minus mu. We can factor out the mass. Alright. Uh, so, uh, what uh, so uh, all of this, uh, all of this uh, quantity, the mass, mass of ball, we take mass of ball, final velocity of the ball, initial velocity of the ball. Okay. Now we need to know what is the final velocity of the ball and initial velocity of the ball. So what velocity is this? Uh, velocity at what time? Okay. Uh, this uh, u, u is the initial velocity before collide with the slab. Uh, this is, you know, our, this is our ball. This is our ball. Okay? So, uh, u is the initial velocity before colliding with the slab. So, what we can say is, uh, we treat this as our u. Uh, you know, uh, our ball fall from the our ball form from the height two meter. So uh, now this one, okay. So this is the initial velocity of the ball before collide with the the steel slab. Okay. Uh, so uh, over here, what I can say is uh, over here uh, it, it collide. Yeah, we can say it it collide over here. Okay. Uh, collision happening here. Uh, this is the this is the collision light right uh, in elastic collision yeah because got loss of kinetic energy uh, so this is the velocity before collide with the with the uh, steel slab and this this is the final velocity when rebound uh, yeah this is the final velocity when rebound this is the v so we need to find out what is the u here and what is the v here it's a u here velocity before collide and velocity after collide with the slab yeah the velocity of the ball and then we can put into the this equation and we find the impulse of the ball okay so before we calculate the impulse of the ball we need to find this velocity yeah how to find this velocity okay first of all look at look at uh just this uh, left hand part the moment when the ball fall down 
okay the okay you see actually here there are two process uh, actually here there are three process yeah what i can say there are three process uh first the the first is it fall down yeah it fall down the second process is collide and the third process is it uh going up uh yeah uh, rebound ah uh, rebound up so look at the first process huh? first we look at the first process uh, when it fall down this is actually a free fall motion yeah so how can we find the velocity um, yeah this velocity how can we find this velocity this velocity before collision actually is the final velocity when the ball drop down just before collide collision Ah, this is actually the final velocity of this free fall motion. Understand? Uh, actually, this one we can just use the conservation of uh, energy to, to do it. Yeah, conservation of energy. So we can say uh, this fall down, uh, we can use, um, uh, you know, the uh, conservation of energy to, to do that. So uh, U plus K initial equal to U plus K final. Ah. So initial. So which one is our initial? This this part is our initial. Uh, okay, maybe okay, I put here. This is our initial, and this is our okay. Uh, this is our initial point, and uh, no, this is our initial, and this is our final. Understand? Uh, initially, what kind of uh, what kind of energy it has? It has potential energy. It don't have any kinetic energy. Uh, so initially, you know the velocity is zero understand not the velocity initially velocity is zero uh, so uh, so initially the kinetic energy is zero uh, kinetic energy it only has potential energy which is uh, mgh uh, yeah so we use mgh okay and then uh, finally when it drop uh, to to the bottom Okay, it lost all the uh, potential energy. Yeah, all the potential energy changed to kinetic energy. So at the bottom here, just before collision, uh, it the potential energy become zero, and now it has kinetic energy. The the, the kinetic energy is half mv square, half mv square. Uh, so we got it. So we can find the velocity. So uh, the mass can be cancelled out. Yeah, this is the mass of the ball mass of the ball so we can find the final velocity here uh, just substitute inside the value g g is a positive value uh, g is a positive value uh, g is 9.81 so put 9.81 and then h is uh, the height is 2 meter the height is 2 meter so put 2 meter and then uh, v half v square so let's calculate the v yeah okay so our v is uh, actually v our v is a uh, 6.2 6.264 6.264 okay i maintain four decimal place so more accurate lah yeah more accurate uh, meter per second uh. so this is the velocity final velocity at the bottom final velocity at the bottom uh, this velocity actually this final velocity actually is the velocity before collision ah this one actually is the initial velocity before before collision ah before collision okay now we got the initial velocity before collision now i want to find the uh, what is the uh, velocity after collision velocity after collision we look at the third part the third part when you rebound up uh, we look at the third part okay so our third part which uh, the rebound the process of rebounding up uh, going up also we use conservation energy also we use conservation energy um, you know last time is uh, okay I just want to wrap this off uh, okay last time is uh, at the first part is we have the potential energy changing to kinetic energy now is we have the kinetic energy change to potential energy that's it you know use conservation energy uh, so uh, okay use the conservation energy u plus k initial equal to u plus k final uh, 
So our initial, this is our initial and this is our final, yeah? Now this is our initial and this is our final, all right? Okay, understand? So uh, our initial only has kinetic energy, so we can cancel out the potential energy. Initially, no potential energy, okay? Uh, and then uh, this is uh, zero, yeah? Uh, so initially only has uh, kinetic energy, which is a uh, half mv square, half mv square, and then uh, and finally when it goes up to the maximum height, uh, the finally here it uh, don't have any kinetic energy, yeah? uh, the velocity becomes zero, uh, so here kinetic energy becomes zero, here at, at the maximum height it only has potential energy, mgh, okay, mgh. Uh, okay, so uh, we got it already. Uh, last time is, you see, last time when it fall down, its potential energy changed to kinetic energy. Uh, but this time when you rebound up, its uh, kinetic energy, uh, the kinetic energy changed to potential energy. Kinetic energy changed to potential energy. Kinetic energy changed to potential energy. Okay? So you can see that, yeah? So this mass can be cancelled out. Now, uh, let's uh, put in the value. Uh, we need to find this V. Uh, G is 9.81. Height is uh, now only 1.6. 1.6. So we put 1.6. Uh, so what is our V? What is our V? Okay. So um, now our V, our V is uh, 5.6. Uh, sorry. Uh, 5.60. Two nine six zero two nine, yeah, uh, meter per second. Uh, this is this final velocity. Uh, this actually this uh, initial velocity when going up is actually the this initial velocity actually is the final velocity after collision. Uh, this becomes the the final velocity after collision. Uh, it is this final velocity that brings the object up to the maximum height. Okay, uh, so now, you see, uh, now we can use these two values and find the impulse on the ball. Okay, impulse on the ball. So what is the mass? The mass of the ball is uh, 40 gram. So we can put 0 0.04 yeah, kilogram. Uh, and then uh, this is a... Uh, uh, we use the final minus okay. Uh, the, uh, remember this is the u initial. This is the initial velocity and this is the final velocity after rebound. Okay. So now uh, we should rewrite. Yeah, we should rewrite uh, this one. Uh, this is our initial velocity before collision. Before collision. Yeah, initial velocity before collision uh, should be. Uh, downward, you see, it's downward. So you should put a negative sign because negative shows the direction downward. It's negative. It's negative. What? It is negative uh, 6.2642. Ah, uh, okay. And then our final velocity after collision. Our final velocity after collision is is uh, going up you see going up so it should be positive uh, this one should be positive 5.6029 ah uh, okay so now we can put in the value here uh, this one should be uh, v final velocity so this one is a uh, positive 5.6029 because it's going up yeah it's going up and then minus uh, minus uh, this initial velocity is going down, so you should put a negative sign there. Uh, this one minus minus a negative, uh, minus a negative. Uh, yeah, don't uh, don't don't uh, miss out. Got two negative, huh? And uh, this one is minus, and the u itself is a negative value. U itself is a negative value. So, uh, this one is a negative six point two six four two. Uh, okay. So let's calculate. Yeah, let's calculate. Ah, so the answer is the answer is a uh, positive. Uh, the answer is a uh, positive. Uh, zero point four seven. Uh, zero point four seven. 
uh, Newton second. Uh, so the the answer the positive means what means upwards. Uh, the direction of the impulse is upwards. Okay. So uh, of course, uh, impulse on the ball, impulse delivered to the ball is uh, the the ground or the slab, the steel slab push the ball upward, push the ball upward. Uh, that's the direction of the J uh, upward. Uh, upward. That's why you get J is a positive value. J is a positive value. Okay. Uh, that's why after after the ball, after the ball collide with the steel slab. After the ball collide with the steel slab, uh, is going up. Right? Going up. That's that's why uh, impulse is positive. Push the ball up. Uh, it's positive. So we got the the answer correct. Yeah. The first one answer correct. Now B. Let's look at B. Question B. Yeah. Uh, question B. If the ball. All right. Now look at question B. Uh, how to do question B? If the ball is in contact with the slab for two milliseconds, uh, this one is the time taken. This one is the collision time. Okay, delta t. Uh, yeah, and just uh, this is the delta t. Determine the average force. Uh, this was the impulsive force. This one is the average impulsive force. Uh, we need to find the impulsive force. Uh, uh, yeah, we need to find the impulsive force on the ball. Uh, we need to find force on the ball, not force on the steel slab. Force on the ball, okay, uh, during the impact. So, how to find? Yeah, just use the formula J equal to F average times delta T. Uh, so, our impulse is uh, impulse on the ball, okay. Remember, this is the impulse on the ball already. Just now we got impulse on the ball. So this force also force on the ball. Uh, okay, because we want to find force on the ball. Yeah. Uh, look at this one. We want to find for in, uh, we got the impulse on the ball, so this one also force on the ball. You see that? Uh, uh, this one is uh, impulse on the ball. This one also force on the ball. So correct lah. Uh, we got the impulse on the ball already. So we also can find force on the ball. Yeah. Uh, yeah, not on the ground. Okay, so uh, force impulse on the ball. Uh, so let's let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. So we got it. Uh, positive. Okay, positive zero point four seven. Yeah, for this one, and this force uh, average uh, delta t is a uh, milli. You see, milli milli. You have exponent negative three. Yeah, convert to SI unit. Uh, don't forget to convert. Yeah, don't make such silly mistake. Negative three. Uh, so then, um, okay. So our average force is equal to. Let's calculate. Yes, we got the average force is uh, two hundred and thirty-five uh, newton, and it is a positive value. Uh, positive value means uh, push upwards. Also, yeah, push upwards. Uh, yeah, indeed, the the force really push upwards. Uh, that's why it's positive value. Okay, force always follow the direction of impulse. Impulse going upward, force also go upwards. Ah, uh, all right. Okay, so force is positive. Uh, is it correct? Two hundred and thirty-seven point one. Yeah, almost correct. Okay, so that's it for these questions. Thank you.